Welcome to another Dojo video. My name is Rokas Leo, and today we're going to continue looking at the principles of Sankyo and also something more interesting, what to do when you're grabbed from behind. As you know, I'm passionate about teaching techniques in a simple way, but also about introducing of why we do it, why Aikido is so special in its own sense. Uh, what, how does it change and affect our life uh, in a way that sometimes uh, other disciplines not always are able to. So we're going to look at that too. Uh, so we won't, won't, won't waste any more time and we're going to go straight into that. So we're going to look at something very specific. He's holding me from behind, uh, just a bit above the elbows and he's holding his hand from top of the other hand. So now there's a lot of ways you could grab and there's much more intelligent ways to, to grab. So in Aikido, when you look at certain grabs or techniques, oftentimes the question rises up, so, okay, for example, if we just, just slightly move out of the topic here, Shomenuchi in Ivama style, in Ivama we do the arms connect here, and then we do a technique, and a person could say, I would never do that, you know, or somebody grabs you and most people will say, nobody ever grabs me like this. So don't get too picky on it and try to understand the reason behind it. Uh, the Aikido techniques, the way I see them, they're a certain collection of principles that are intended for you to develop them and then use them in various situations. You're not expected to have this specific exact moment in a real life situation. This is ridiculous, you know, there's just so many possible situations. But for you to learn to be able to understand, it's like a, a book each technique is like a single book. You take the book, it's very specific, it's written in a certain way, you read it, and then you use the information the way you want it. So this is, we're going to look at it the same way. Very specific attack, not to learn specifically how to deal with it, uh, only with it and just it, but to understand the principles behind it so you could use them in other situations too. So we'll come back. He's holding me, hand on top of the other hand, just a bit of above the elbows. And uh, now the, f the transformational part, the philosophical part, again, if you looked at our other videos, this is pressure. You know, life dif difficult life situations can, are also pressure. And uh, when there's pressure, whether it's physical pressure, mental pressure, the first thing we want to do, we want to resist. He's pushing me, I want to push back. I want to be stronger than him and, and win but he has a better position than I do. So the first thing actually I need to do, I need to create some space. I need to create, if it's a physical conflict, I need to create space between us. If, uh, if it's a mental situation, a difficult life situation, I create space uh, to see it from a different perspective, to have more ability to move. So the way I create space, the way I, the way I develop the habit not to resist, but to actually find space where we could move together, First thing I do, I drop my center. Drop my center. So if he's holding me very tightly, it's not, it's not necessarily going to drop much, but there's actually more space already here. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to push back, but I'm going to expand my arms. So center drops, fingers can look at each other and extend the arms. So now if you watch, even if he's holding very strongly, there's space which starts to appear. Even if it's just a little bit, but it's, it's there. Drop center, extend the arms, here. And now I go to the side, I try to squeeze out. Yeah. So now the next thing we're going to do, I could go out here, but uh, we're going to connect it with the previous video. So best if you watched it already. With the top of his hand, so with the right hand, I'm going to grab it with the left hand, here. Now as I turn out, I grab it with the other hand as well. You can grab the both hands. If you release it, I grab just one, but actually I can grab both hands too. And now if you watch, we're back in Sankyo. I turn his body and he moves. Sankyo connected with the same move. So again, if you want to teach a person a simple way of doing a Sankyo. This is one way. So first of all, you teach him how to expand, how to drop the center, make some space, grab the hand with the opposite hand here. And it's a very direct 
already in a sinker, so just one moment, if the hand is stuck here, you can go up dub again. And I turn back, give him the sankyo. Basically, I'm already in a sankyo position, so I could continue. Now, if you want to add a bit of an extra finish, a bit of an extra touch, then after you turn, you can ask the person to cut and just grab the elbow, go down. But it might be also too much, so just as a thought. But all in all, Again, if you're looking to understand better Aikido or, or to transmit Aikido better, learn, the, see all the different grabs uh, as a chance to get a better connection with Aikido so you can use it later, later through. So in this technique, it's the same. Certain situation, certain principles that I learned to develop, that I learned to connect, and that's what hopefully helps you. So we jumped through a bit of a few different topics uh, in this video. Uh, so I hope it wasn't too confusing, but I just wanted to share some perspective about how I see the techniques and also some of the principles in it. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. All in all, uh, do check the other videos. We already have quite a few of them. We're going to continue this series. Uh, if you have uh, some questions, let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer. But all in all, Thank you to Mayuke, thank you to the camera person, myself, I am Brokos Leo, and see you on the virtual mat again soon.